do you have a baby that you're concerned that the head is too sensitive? One that seems a little loose and triggers head supports too easily? There is a sensitivity test that you can run to determine if the head is within specifications. What you would need, you need to have the baby unplugged from the charger, you'll need an ID and a bottle, and you will need to be at your computer. Now the babies, they're designed that they can be in a lying down position, that when the caregiver hears the baby cry for care, that they could actually just pick up the baby gently from the shoulders and not trigger a head support. If the baby is picked up too quickly when they are responding to a care event, whammo, head could go back, baby has now triggered a head support. To activate the sensitivity test, you'll need to go to the control center and start a preset one demo. To activate the sensitivity test, select the baby that you want to test. Make sure that there is a green communication icon under COMM. If this icon is not green, you cannot run the sensitivity test. Make sure the status is available. And finally, make sure that the wireless communication device icon at the bottom right corner is green. Once you have confirmed all that, click demo. And at the bottom left corner, click where it says preset one. You can run the entire preset one. Otherwise, we do recommend that you run a couple of care events. And if the baby passes without triggering a head support, you can stop the demo by clicking stop demo. So again, click preset one and then click start demo. The baby will chime then it will coo, then you'll have a 30 second break, and then the baby will start asking for care. So click start demo, baby will chime, baby will coo, then you have a 30 second break. Wait for baby to start crying. Once you hear the baby start crying for care, take the baby from the shoulders, gently pick it up, Good, the baby did not scream for the head support. Give the baby the ID. And then gently rest the bottle against the lips. Baby will feed for a full minute. Again, gently rest the bottle against the lips. A common mistake is that the bottle could be pushed against the lips. If they are pushing the bottle when they are feeding, they could push that head back far enough to where it triggers a head support. So when they feed the baby, just have to rest the bottle against the lips and wait for the baby to coo. Okay. Lie the baby flat on its back and then wait for the next care event. If after the next care event, the baby responds just fine, Trigger one head support, pick up the baby quickly. Lie the baby flat on its back and let it finish crying, which will take one minute. After the crying has stopped, click stop demo. Baby will chime and the demonstration will stop. Now, the final thing you wanna do is to check how many head supports were triggered. Click where it says back, select the baby, and then click stop. The baby will chime. Status is now gone to report due, and it is retrieving a report from that demonstration you just ran. Wait for the status to change to report OK or to available. Go to the class period that was last assigned when you programmed a simulation. There's your report. It only ran for a couple minutes. Go to view and verify how many head supports were reported. We see here that the baby only triggered one head support from that head support that we intentionally performed. If there were two or more head supports, contact product support. But for this, the baby responded properly when we picked it up from the shoulders, it did not trigger a head support. 
when we did trigger a head support, it reported only one head support event. So this baby's head is within specifications and would not need to come in for repair. Thank you.